This is ANN News Brief. Senior doctors in Zimbabwe have joined an ongoing medical worker strike that started with junior doctors months ago in dispute over pay. The striking junior doctors, hundreds of them, were then sacked by the government. Now, in protest against that government action, senior doctors have downed tools in anger. Nurses have also been on strike demanding a living wage. The Senior Doctors Association says it would it will stop all emergency services until the junior colleagues have been reinstated. More than 400 junior doctors were fired after withdrawing their services. They are demanding a 500% salary increase as a cushion against triple digit inflation. Many patients have been turned away. Some are reportedly sent home to die. Namibians have headed to the polls on Wednesday in presidential and parliamentary elections to pick a new lawmakers and a new leader. 11 candidates are vying for the presidency, while 15 political parties are battling for parliamentary seats. One of the key issues that the Electoral Commission faced was the use of the electronic voting machines, the use of which opposition parties were afraid could lead to fraudulent results. They believe electronic voting machines' uh, figures cannot be easily audited like results with paper trail. They sued the Electoral Commission but lost. The court ordered the machines to be used in today's polls. The Electoral Commission has given assurances during a press briefing on Tuesday it is well prepared to deliver a free and fair result. It will be a pre-poll test and party agents are expected to be part of that process. The pre-poll test is, in, is to ensure those present at the polling station that there are no votes recorded in the control unit. We need to facilitate a voting process in small villages, commercial farms, but importantly also at prison facilities, clinics, hospitals, old age homes and so forth. Well, analysts say the ruling Swapo's party, which has been in power since independence from South Africa in 1990, is unlikely to lose its overwhelming majority. President Haig Gengob is seeking a second five-year term amid lagging economy and massive unemployment. Namibia has more than 4,000 police stations scattered around the country. Only 1,400 of those are fixed or stationary. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Kenya is launching a report on political reform and eager crowds have gathered at the bombers of Kenya in the capital Nairobi in anticipation of the much-awaited report called the Building Bridges Initiatives. President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Ray Laudinga came up with the idea aimed at uniting the country following the contentious 2017 election that was hit by violence just like past polls. The reform is aimed at addressing electoral reforms, ethnic and gender inclusivity, and political representation, among other issues. Writers of the reform report have proposed, among others, the creation of a prime minister post, banning state workers from doing business with the government, and awarding corruption whistleblowers 5% of any amount recovered as a result of their information. Some critics say the reform initiative was meant to preserve the status of the political class. But a political analyst, Dr. Sam Kamau, says it is a good report and an attempt to diagnose the problem facing the country. That is NN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NNAfrica TV. I'm Lucy Adim.